Number 72. A student solved the following problem and found that the equilibrium concentrations to be the concentration of SO2 was 0.590 molarity, the concentration of O2 was 0.0450 molarity, and the concentration of SO3 was 0.260 molarity. How could the student check the work without reworking the problem? And the problem was, for the following reaction at uh, at 600 degrees Celsius, we have this equation with the KC value. Okay, so all we have to do is basically they, you know, they got an answer for their equilibrium concentrations and they just want to check their work. Well, first off, this is actually a very good thing to do on your test and quiz, okay? So first thing, I'm going to just rewrite this out, right? I see that there are coefficients, so... I'm going to assume that this is balanced. We got two SO2 gases plus O2 uh, gas, and this is coming to equilibrium with two SO3 gas. I'm just going to make this a little bit more centered. Beautiful. And now I'm just going to write out what the concentrations that the student found out to be. They said at equilibrium, and maybe I'll put, you know, at equilibrium. we found out that the concentration of SO2 was 0.590 molarity. The O2 was 0.0450 molarity. And then the SO3 was 0.260 molarity. Let's just see if this student has the right answer. What you're going to do is you're basically going to use your equilibrium expression to see if this gives you the equilibrium constant. Technically, this, for a specific temperature, is a constant number. So if the student calculated correctly, they should be able to plug these values in into the KC expression and see if it equals this value. If it doesn't equal the value, that student has to go back and check their work. So we know what the KC expression is. It's this, right? Kc equals the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of reactants raised to the coefficients. And remember, only aqueous and gases are allowed in your Kc expression. So just always check those states first. But in this case, they're all gases. So all of them are going to be in my expression. Just make sure that this is balanced. So after that's all done, now we write the Kc expression. So Kc equals something over something else. Products divided by reactants. So I have bracket. I have the SO3. And now that's raised to the coefficient. Remember, that's the big numbers in the front. So I see that I have a 2 in front of the SO3. So I have to raise it to the second. And then we come over here. I have the SO2. And I check for a coefficient. I do see one. It is a 2. So I know that I have to raise that to the second. And then remember, it's not addition as it would be in a balanced equation, but you're multiplying your uh, reactants or your products. Multiple reactants or multiple products. So here I'm going to multiply by the concentration of O2. And in this case, I don't see a number in front, right? Oh, hold on. I don't see a number in front. That means that there was one of them. So I could raise this to the first, but I don't have to. Okay, now we're just going to plug in the values. They did say that this was 0.260. And this one was 0.590. And this was 0.0450. So we could just solve for the KC. Let's see. So I get... 0.260, and that's all squared. Then for the bottom, I have 0.590, and that's also squared. And then I have to multiply by 0.0450. Okay. Beautiful. I'm just going to pull this a little bit to the side. Let's get one number for the top. One number for the bottom. If you want, you can do the math in one shot. But let's just see. I'm going to try not to round too much here because we're still not at the final answer. 
So the top 0.26 squared is 0.0676. And then the bottom, let's see, 0.59 squared times 0 0.045. I get 0 0.0156645. And now let's just see what that KC value is. So this number divided by this number. And I get 4 point, if we're rounding it with the three sig figs, I do get 4.32. And look at that. It checks out. So this, this student did their work correctly. But now for you guys, you know, do this on the test, right? If they're asking for equilibrium concentrations, just do a quick check. Plug in your values that you solved for into your expression and see if you get that KC value. Then if it checks out like it did in here, you know you did it correct and move on to the next question. If you get something, you know, like 40.3 or something, go back. Fix your numbers. All right. So hopefully this worked. Um, yeah. I mean, the question said, how could this student check its the work without reworking the problem? Basically, you do this whole thing. Okay. All right. So we'll just say, you know, he did it correctly or student did it correct. Correct concentrations. Okie dokie. So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. I really do appreciate all you guys and I'm so happy to hear how well you're doing in your class, uh, in your classes. So you know, just let me know how you're doing. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in future lessons. Bye-bye.